Welcome. I'm Sebastian Mafud, and you're listening to WCAT Radio, the on-air wing of En Route Books and Media, bringing you the dulcet sounds of Catholic wisdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he did not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first. For it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go, the demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed, and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Up to this point, we've been looking at how Jesus Christ is joining in this ministry. And I think today presents us with one of the more interesting uh, stories in the Gospel according to Mark. Recognizing that the Jewish society favored men was a male-dominated society. It is interesting that this woman should approach Jesus with this request. But in order to really appreciate what is happening in today's gospel, I take your minds back to two miracles that are already have taken place in the sixth chapter, which we just finished, which, you know, the way our gospel is arranged, we didn't have it in our readings. It is the miracle of the miraculous Multiplication of loaves, 5,000. Jesus has just fed 5,000. His disciples witness this, but they don't believe. What happens next is that they are in a storm and Jesus comes to them walking on water. The gospel passage ends by saying, their hearts were hardened. They still do not believe. And yet, here, here comes this foreigner in the midst of a problem. So, one, in a male-dominated society, she's a woman, okay? Second, she's a non-Jewish lady, Syrophoenician, a Greek. And third, she has a problem. And like you say in baseball, three strikes, and you are out. But she did not give up. She never gave up. You know, one thing with the gift of faith is that unless we are tested, we do not know the depth of our faith. This woman was tested and she showed the depth of our faith. Not just because she had a problem, but because she recognized that Jesus Christ is able to do all things. As Catholics, as Christians, I will stand here and deceive you that you will be tested. And I am sure and I assume many of you or all of you have already been tested. But the test is not meant to frighten any of us. It is rather meant to strengthen us. Strengthen our faith in God who has called us. You know, I often tell you about what St. Teresa of Avila said once. You know, along the way, she's riding on this donkey and suddenly falls into water and turns to the Lord and says, If this is how you treat your friends, that is why you have so few. Because not many of us really want to be tested. We would rather prefer our lives to be smooth sailing. But you know, if our lives were smooth sailing, we would probably not recognize and appreciate the things God has given to us. This woman in today's gospel persevered in the midst of the test she faced. She did not allow her background to deter her from approaching Jesus. She did not allow the fact that she was not a Jew to deter her from coming to Jesus. She did not even allow what Jesus Christ said to her 
prevent her from asking and persevering. Sometimes when you pray and nothing happens, it necessarily doesn't mean that God has not heard your prayer or God is not listening. It might mean that the Lord is trying to stretch you in order to strengthen you. Today, as we encounter him in the Eucharist, and maybe one or any of us in this church today has a challenge which we are going through right now. It might be physical, it might be spiritual, it might be emotional, it might be relational, whatever it is. The example of this woman today tells us, do not give up. God never gives up on us. Oftentimes, we are the ones who give up on God. But the gift of faith which he bestows on us through the grace of the Eucharist is meant to be strengthened. So, keep asking. Keep staying in there with the Lord and allow him to see your faith and grant you your heart's desire. We hope you enjoyed the program and will join us back for another show on WCAT Radio. This is Sebastian Mafud. Good day.